Hi everyone, today we're gonna put SSL certificate for Azure website. Uh, I have a website, it's already on uh, Azure, but it's not secure, so we're gonna put SSL. First of all, you need to buy a certificate, it's, um, it's around like $8 per year, the cheapest one. So after you buy it for one year or maybe for more, you're gonna get this page. On this page, you need to prove that the domain is belong to you. There is four options. And uh, after that, we need to generate CSR file. So. How to generate a CSR file? You need to open ES Manager. So Internet Information Service, and I found it uh, on my virtual machine and um, uh, choose uh, server certificates, click uh, create certificate request. After that, you need to fill out all information about uh, your company. So the common name is um, your domain name. So put it uh, without HTTP. So uh, I put instarocket.co. After that, you need to put organization. You just, for example, instarocket incorporation, wherever you, you name incorporation. Organization uh, unit, I put IT, it's like information technology. And city, it's uh, Kiev, state Kiev, and the region, you know, like countries, Ukraine. Uh, click, click next. Um, now you need to choose cryptographic service provider, choose uh, uh, default, it is. RSA and bit length should be 2048. Click next. And now we need to create file, specify the file where this uh, our uh, data will be saved. So you need to create a file, an empty text, text file. Uh, for example, like call, name it your website. InstaRocket TXT and open it. So yes, we're gonna write to this file. So everything we need in this file, so navigate it. Uh, this is my old file, so we need InstaRocket TXT file. This I, I will remove it, we don't need it. And this, yeah, open this file. Yeah, and copy all, everything, just everything co uh, copy and um, put on the input CRS, CSR. So put it here and select, you can select your server. If you want, it's like optional, I put it as Azure, so it's Microsoft ES. Yes. So then press continue. Yeah, I, I choose the HTTP based uh, um, authorization. So, so I need to prove it by uploading the file in the next step. So press continue. We got here, we need to download the file, verification file. So press download out file. And uh, navigate it uh, to your hosting. So it should be in a specified folder. You see the path. Well known key validation. So upload this file to your uh, website. I need to connect to. I use Qt FTP to connect to my hosting, so I just um, download the published profile, so I want to be able to access to my hosting and upload this file. Yeah, I uh, use it. Okay, I connect to my website. Here is my website. I'm going to Weber root, and here I'm gonna upload I, the file 
verification file. So, but I need to put it not in the root folder, but I need to put in well known folder. So I just put in well known folder and uh, inside it, I need to put to another one. Yes. And now it should be available on the link. Yes, it's opened and I see Komodo. So now we can verify our domain. It's now active. Uh, before it could be, your order could be pending, but now it's everything is okay, it's active. So just uh, download your file. Download certificate. You need to download this file to the um, local machine or to the virtual, I use virtual machine. Now you need to download and open DigiCert program. Press import and find your file that you have downloaded. Click next. I choose the name. You can put any name here. And click finish. Now you see certification, click on it, click export. And now next, choose a password. Any password, you need to remember it because we will use it in the future. And click finish. It will be saved to desktop. Okay, and there is a file that we need. Take this file and uh, go to your Azure website and upload it. So you need to upload certificates. You choose PFT certificate file. Uh, use the password you already created. I, I put a wrong password, so I put the right one. Yes, and should and upload it. It will be uploaded successfully. After that, I need to go to binding um, and uh, bind my uh, domain, InstaRocket add binding, and I choose InstaRocket and choose my uh, certificate. I, and choose this one and bind it. Click bind, everything will be successfully. And if everything successfully, so now you can go to your website. Now you can go to your website, choose, yeah, and it's load correctly and it's secure. Yeah, so we have a, if you have a question, just write in a comment and I will try to answer. Thanks for watching.